Today on the show, I'm going to be talking about some Teen Titans that were excluded from the new 52. So the new 52 is over now, like it's done, it's dusted, the nail is in the coffin, it's totally over. But obviously the Teen Titans book that was started in the new 52 is still going. And there were a lot of Teen Titans that did not appear in the new 52, which to be fair, they didn't have time to fit in all sort of 100 and something Titans, but they could have fit in a lot more than they did. We're going to talk about some of the ones that I was surprised didn't appear in the Teen Titans in the New 52. There are some characters in this list that did appear in the New 52, but they just weren't in the Titans. So first off, there is Terra, also known as Tara Markov. She was a fan favourite of people that watched the cartoon, and she did appear in the New 52. She was in a team called the Ravagers, but she was not on the Titans. Here's the thing. In the comics, back when she first appeared in the 80s, she was messed up. She wasn't a good character. The TV show kind of adapted her storyline where she works for Deathstroke, but in the TV show they made it seem like she didn't really want to work for him, she was just really really upset. But in the comics, no, she was messed up. She was a 16 year old sleeping with a 40 year old man. This girl was messed up. She would join the Titans undercover working for Deathstroke to try and figure out all of the Titans' weaknesses so the two of them could systematically take out all of the Titans. Eventually, all of the Titans would be captured and taken to the Hive, and Deathstroke and Terra's plan would turn around on them, and Terra would actually think that Deathstroke has betrayed her. So rather than talking things out and trying to work together with Deathstroke so they can turn things back around and save their plan, she brings down the entire Hive building on herself in an attempt to kill everyone inside of it, but she only succeeds in killing herself, like smushed, dead. This was a really hard time for Beast Boy because he had fallen in love with her, and not only did he just find out the girl that he'd fallen in love with was evil, he also just found out that she had just killed herself, so that's the thing. In the New 52, like I said, she was in the Ravagers, but she didn't take part in any majorly important storylines and in fact the Ravagers was really really bad so I feel like this character deserved a lot more than what she got in the New 52. Like the Judas Contract, the storyline Terra is in in the comics, is considered one of the most iconic storylines from DC Comics. It's the storyline that made the Titans the best selling title in the 80s. Like I'm talking best selling in the world, not just the United States, not just England, in the world. Because of that, an iconic character from an iconic story deserves to take part in something iconic in the new 52, and she just didn't get that. She deserved so much more. Next we have Bumblebee, who was actually a member of the original Titans group back from the 1960s, although she first appeared in the 1970s, meaning she appeared in the back end of the original Titans run. She was essentially DC's version of the Wasp. She was a genius who had the ability to shrink and grow at will, and she created non-violent weapons, weapons that were made to stun but not to harm, which I feel like would fit in very, very well with the current run of the Titans. She was in the cartoon, obviously, I know some of you are gonna bring that up, but I really don't feel like the cartoon did her genius justice. Like, this girl is a genius. She creates non-violent weapons for Star Labs. She is a genius, and the cartoon just really didn't get that across. They just made her seem smart, but not like a genius. In the Titans at the moment, a lot of the characters kind of feel like they should punch first, then ask questions later. In fact, you've got teenagers, kids essentially, talking about killing at the moment. So I really do feel like a character that would be specifically made to be non-violent would fit in this current run of the Titans. Because if she came along with non-violent weapons, where does she fit amongst all these characters, all these kids that want to kill each other? I want to see that. I want to see how that unbalances the chemistry. Now we have the final character that I am legitimately shocked did not make it into the New 52 at all, had no appearances in the New 52, and his name is Eddie Bloomberg, Kid Devil. I've made a history video about him in the past. 
Click the link down below if you want to see it. So originally Kid Devil was Blue Devil's sidekick in the old universe and then he would eventually sell his soul to a demon to get his own demonic powers. Later on he would become a hero in his own right and become Red Devil but he was always a member of the Titans or at least from about 2005 onwards he was a member of the Titans. He was a fan favourite from the moment he got his demonic powers. People absolutely loved him. He was really, really fun. He was a breath of fresh air in the team, which is really, really surprising considering, you know, this is a demon. Personally, I do feel like he's a strong enough character to have his own series simply titled Kid Devil or Red Devil. But if he has to go on the Titans once again, he would definitely fit in with the team, especially once again, because everything's so serious in the Titans at the moment, and it could just be a bit of fun occasionally, and he'll be the perfect character to kind of remind the team, hey, have fun. Obviously, there are loads more Titans that didn't make it into the new 52, like Zachary Zatara or even Starfire. She just wasn't a member of the Titans this time, although it was hinted that she was a member of a Titans type team in the past, but this was quickly retconned. All in all, it's only a matter of time before I start writing for the Titans, so they've got a bright future. Okay guys, that is it for today, so which titans are you shocked didn't appear in the new 52? Please leave them in the comments down below. And also don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more history videos. And also don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, support the show by checking out my Patreon so I can make bigger and better and more history videos. And also don't forget to subscribe to my vlogging channel if you want to start your day with me every single day. And also follow me on Twitch. My name is Faust, this has been Exploring Comics and it is super effective.